Hello, one and all, and welcome to Fusionverse, a show where we talk about anime, TV shows, movies, and games. And today we are talking about the one and only E3, an event that only transpires once a year. Well, I mean, technically there's other events like it, but this is supposed to be like the big one, so... Hey! Whatever. So, for ages we have wondered... Who's going to win? Will it be Xbox? Will it be PlayStation? Will it be Nintendo? Well, the answer to that for this year is honestly kind of strange. Because um, they were just not really present, I guess you can say. I mean, Nintendo always does the, is doing now the video direct thing. PlayStation is a no-show uh, and Microsoft, they're kind of there, but not really there. They have, like, their own thing. They bought whatever they rented out of place, whatever people go there. So it's not technically E3, but it's, it's still there. Uh, there are different studios, uh, you know, developers, or not developers, uh, publishers, you know, showcasing a bunch of different games to showcase to people. New consumer. And I have to say... A lot of them were pretty damn disappointing. Uh, you know, let me let's just get this video started right here. Uh, one that wasn't actually disappointing was, well, this one. And that is, well, Devolver. Devolver does such an amazing job with all their stuff. It's freaking good. Freaking awesome. Uh, they came out with an article talking about them as well. And you guys should look it up if you get the chance. Uh, but yeah, it talks about just like the good that they do. Uh, for a lot of indie developers trying to get them out there. They're not really like a gritty bunch of type of people. And as you can tell, they make some crazy ass content for E3. Uh, for me, this was probably one of the... Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen... If you haven't seen uh, E3, or Devolver's E3... Uh, I think it's something that you need to watch because it's super entertaining, a lot of fun, weird, crazy stuff going on. Watch the last ones and kind of watch this one. But yeah, uh, this is kind of how it starts, and I don't want to go too much into it, but yeah, it's like super intense. And whoa, it's not even stopping. That's how crazy it is. I press pause. As you can see, but it doesn't want to pause. Holy shit. Like, seriously. Whoa. This is, like, weird. It's ha it has, like, a mind of its own. It's it's really out of control here. Like, I'm not even joking. It's, it's crazy. So, I don't want this to get kind of, like, spoiled for you guys. You know? Uh, so, let's see if we can pause this, baby. Okay, there. Finally paused. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot going on here. Uh, especially with... Uh, let me see if I can drag this over here. With just... With all of them coming out saying, Oh, who's going to win? Who's going to be the one that wins? Will it be me? Will it not be me? And... Uh, you know, like, like, come on, who's it, who's it gonna be? People saying, I saw some people talking about how, oh, PlayStation 1, even though it wasn't there, it's like, what, what the hell are you talking about? They're just trying to move on to the next one. That's why they're not releasing any new games. All the games that are, they have announced are coming out this year, and that's, or possibly next year, it's where they're all, but they're all supposed to be coming out this year, and it's, or next year as well, and that's the, basically the end, the end of the PS4 era. They're trying to transition into the PS5 or whatever they're going to call it. Uh, and they're going to do with backwards compatibility. All those different things. But yeah, we still haven't seen the console. It's going to get shown next year. And it's probably not going to get released. I would say... 2021? Possibly, because 2020 is going to be the year for Xbox. When they launch, of course, with Halo... And, uh, Project Scarlet or whatever they're going to call it. The new Xbox. 
I, I don't know where they're going to go from here. I mean, uh, Nintendo, obviously, people, whatever. It's kind of like away. doesn't really matter. They're doing good. They obviously have good sales and everything. But we're not really here for that. So we're here to see, like, who actually won, like, E3. And there's honestly a lot of stuff. There was a lot of press conferences, as you can see from this. Uh, there were honestly, yeah, a lot of these, a lot of conferences. Uh, there was this, of course, PC Gamer Show, all these things. And I have to say, the one for me that I was kind of just more entertained by was this, was, uh, was Twitch. It honestly was, like, yeah, I'm Twitch. <laughs> it was Devolver, Digital Devolver. Uh, I'm just gonna play it. If you guys wanna watch it, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, this is something we'll probably skip through it. Where they just announce all these different games, and there's pe some people were kind of disappointed, like, like what happened? They were, they were like, why didn't they do this or why didn't do you know? Because they were used to a different type of presentation from them. However, they still kind of did something similar, where they're basically launching this this whole thing, kind of like what Nintendo Direct is. And it's about just making more money. But a lot of people kind of didn't really grasp that. They don't really understand what this is supposed to be. Like, it's it's freaking, it's freaking interesting to see. Because it's, this is supposed to be the representation of, you know, basically corporate people. And they're like, oh, well, we need to make money. Okay? Like, our employees are whatever dying or... Dead or something, but we just gotta cash them out. We gotta we gotta bring in more money, so we gotta just exploit them and do whatever we can. At least that's what I got from it. You know, that's that's honestly what I got. Cause it's like they just want to release the games and be like, oh, this is, this is what we're gonna do. And in a way, they're kind of they're doing that with this. It's very different, but I like it for that reason as well. It's not the same thing. And it's like... It's about them, like, kind of taking control. And that's something I really like about this. I think that... They've kind of taken it to kind of another level where you really have to kind of... Well, I mean, they kind of tell you. Obviously. Uh, but you really... You have to understand what they're going for and stuff like that. Instead of what previous ones were, it was just like... It would have a lot of, you know, crazier violence, a lot of blood and stuff like that. Maybe people just wanted more of that. But this is really good. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, the games though, however, uh, I think there were some where I was kind of interested in. But then others, uh, not really, not so much. It felt like it was kind of a lackluster in that aspect. Uh, but then again, a lot of other developers or publishers didn't really, uh say anything else about the games or you know about releasing them and stuff things like that are like oh they're going to release next year there's a lot of games here as well that are going to be released next year where i was kind of expecting something to come out this year there's some that did but at the end of the day there were some that just didn't oh <laughs> like Youthful exuberant supervisor. This <laughs> is funny. Oh man. Oh, because you're. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Uh. Let me move down here. But yeah, <laughs> I like the blood still coming out. But yeah, I think there, there's something kind of to be said. <laughs> like, this looks pretty cool. Like this game, like, looks like something that, you know, 
I may, <laughs> people may want to play. It's just a fun little game. Kind of like obstacle courses and stuff like that. These other games, you know, looks really cool. It's like you're trying to win to get to first. It's like a, it looks like a battle royale, but like just ridiculous. Instead of being like so seriously, uh, it looks like kind of like it also makes your little big planet because there's all these different things. I wonder if you're gonna be able to customize your own stuff, but I think this might be a huge hit. This might be the one thing that where it's like people purchase it a lot because it looks, it does honestly look, it's just a lot of fun. And it's just about trying to survive. <laughs> I like, I kind of like it. I like what it's trying to do. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I think, like I said, Devolver definitely takes, definitely uh, is up there for me. Of the. <laughs> and again, it doesn't want to stop. Uh, I think they did an amazing job, and on it. So honestly, their presentation really takes it up, up there for me. Uh, like I said, early 2020 knocked them all off. Oh, <laughs> this is another one that's like my favorite. Okay. What the f what the hell's going on? Oh man, this thing is like messing up. Makes my things overheating. But anyways, yeah, that's what honestly what I think. I think that they did a really great job with this. Uh, if you're looking for like a lot of different types of games that you might be interested. In, I think the Volver. Is something that you should consider watching or consider, you know, being invo more involved. I think they're they give if you're like one of those people where it's like, oh, the whole thing with Steam and people giving more money to developers so they can make more games. I think that's more. They're more in depth with that, where they actually want to kind of help you or help the developers more. Where they focus on a lot of like the marketing and stuff like that. But yeah, I th that's honestly what I think. And I heard this is actual game, by the way. Devolver bootleg. This is actually true, by the way. Like, you can go there and kind of get that. And uh, it seems to be like it's a lot of fun or something. Hey, but hey, if you're, if you're into it, go for it, you know? I don't, I don't have Steam. So I don't really play, like, on the PC or anything like that. I have a MacBook. So, so I really don't think, like, it would work. And hell no. <laughs> yeah, that's something that freaking happens. Oh, God. Yeah, this, I don't know. This, yeah, this is, this is what I think. I think they won this game. I want this game. I want this game. But it's not coming until next year. <laughs> I think because my laptop's overheating. But yeah, that's who, honestly who I think won. I think they, like, just, like I said, they hit it out of the park. 
and there's a lot of crazier stuff too. By the way, you watch the pre pre show, they have a lot of other crazier stuff and uh, more indie games that they actually show. Some are pretty good. I'm really interested in some that it's like, oh man, is it only for PC? Stuff like that. But hey, I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know who you think won. If anyone actually won, for that matter. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm just, my hat's tip. I'm tipping my hat off to, uh, to Devolver. I like them. And we're going to leave off with this one. Uh, don't worry, there's still more to go. But, but this is freaking amazing. what I said it's like they're like censoring her and stuff it's pretty cool look at that thing that's you it's like a reverse thing which is pretty pretty freaking cool that you get to play as as that This game has me really excited, and I can't, honestly can't wait. It looks so brutal. Well, of course, you got like other people they have to deal with, like you kind of kill. Look at that, like getting freaking flamethrowered. It, it does, it really does look pretty damn good. But yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. For more videos, click over there. It's weird now, so I'm here. Yeah, so, uh, so click there. You know what to do. Again, thank you guys so much. And I will catch you guys on another exciting episode of Fusion Verse. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. God. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this thing. But you got to watch it. I freaking love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, well, we'll leave it off with this. Thank you guys. Uh, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.